Usually I start with uh, small sketches to organize my thoughts. I enjoy when I mixing uh, media. I use watercolors and inks. Then I do little touches with uh, soft pastels and uh, gouache and sometimes uh, white charcoal. It depends. When I start the painting, I start with uh, a transparent layers just to avoid the white color of the canvas as I work a lot with uh, dark tones, dark blues. Gradually, I switch the layers into a solid layers. Also, sometimes I start uh, working with acrylic. Then I uh, do the final touches with oil colors. So it depends on the mood that I want. I'm Miska Mohammed. I live uh, close to the Nile in Umdurman, Banacherik like uh, five minutes uh, away from the Nile. I have been practicing art from an early age since I was a child. My first uh, supporters were my parents. They really encouraged me to paint and draw. They supported me to study art. The river means to me life. I couldn't live away from the Nile here. Yeah. All my colors now, I feel like it's uh, reflected from the Nile. The tones of the blue, the dark green, yeah, it's all inspiring from my area, from the Nile. About uh, three or four years ago, I worked a lot outside of my studio, and it was really a daily routine. I go outside, I paint uh, at the markets, uh, painting people, paintings, uh, the crowded of the place, the movement. In Khartoum, it's difficult to live from art. It's also rare to find uh, local collectors. But you know, things uh, get different after the revolution. You will notice at the street some uh, mural paintings just uh, popped up after the revolution and it doesn't exist before so I'm expecting that uh, the next year will be different for Sudan. We have a real and unique art in Sudan and we deserve a chance. Becoming a successful woman artist, of course it's difficult but uh, no matter what happens it's all about your energy and how you manage your time. Uh, in art, Kamara Ishaq is uh, one of my idols. After I graduated, I was so lucky to have a visit to her studio. She was so welcoming, she was so nice. She treated me like I'm her daughter. <laughs> and she really motivated me when she let me paint in her own studio by her own materials. This was just a great uh, moment <laughs> of my life. The Magic of Forgotten Place. This is my first solo exhibition ever and my first one in Nairobi at Circle. I feel like uh, life after the pandemic has totally transformed. For uh, one year, I didn't go any place outside of Khartoum, so really I'm painting. The energy of the good places I have visited before. I like to change the way I saw things. So from time to time, you will notice uh, something new in my paintings. Every day I'm looking for something new in the nature, some new resources. I have uh, traveled inside of Sudan. I have been in the north and the east of Sudan. And I'm looking forward to see the rest of Sudan. Outside of Sudan, I have been in uh, Tunisia, Nigeria, uh, Cairo, uh, Saudi Arabia, and now in Nairobi. Through my experience of uh, traveling, I have uh, learned how far people are the same. I have learned uh, from so many cultures, uh, I have so a lot of traditions. Uh, I learned how to accept and respect the others, as they are uh, not the same as you. Also, traveling means finding new sources uh, for your art, so this automatically will reflect to your art and this helped me a lot to create my uh, current style. I don't uh, paint people in my landscapes, it's very rare. I feel it's uh, more important to 
imagine the energy of the place more than specific uh, subjects, people. I feel this uh, makes the paintings more stronger. It's uh, more deeper, I think, yeah. It's really a new experience for me when I just work and see all my paintings hung out. This was really, it was really a great feeling for me. It's also important to say the reaction of people, to say what the people feel about your work. Such an amazing moment. Yeah.